Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging question from radical equations. Our equation is x minus square root of 8 plus square root x equal to 8. And we have to find out real solutions. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. I will write our equation as x minus 8 equal to square root of 8 plus square root x. Now for real solution this should be positive always. That means our LHS should be this side should be always positive. So what I will write now x minus 8 should be positive. So x should be greater than 8 for sure. Whatever the values of x we will calculate we will accept only those values where x is bigger than 8, greater than 8. Now I will use substitution. So let us write our substitution 8 plus square root x equal to suppose y. See what will happen after that. Our original equation, the given equation will become x minus root y equal to 8. And from this equation, if I will write y, then y will become y minus root x will become 8. Okay. So we have now new set of equations. x minus root y equal to 8. y minus root x is equal to 8. Now I will take away 2 from 1. Let us do that. So x minus y. Then I will write root x minus root y. And right hand side I will write 8 minus 8 which is 0. So in left hand side it will become x minus y plus root x minus root y and right hand side is 0. This is the equation for which we will find out our solutions. Now I will consider one algebraic identity. As you can see square root x and square root y is involved here. So let me write if possible square root here also. So I can write our equation like this square root x whole square minus square root y whole square plus square root x as it is square root y as it is RH is 0 as it is. Now you can see a square minus b square formula is on. So I will write the identity which I will use here. Let me write here first root x square minus root y square plus root x minus root y equal to 0. Now I will write one identity a square minus b square. Difference of two squares a plus b a minus b. Let us apply over here. So our equation will become root x plus root y in one bracket, second bracket root x minus root y and then square root x minus square root y as it is and right hand side is 0. Now it is obvious that square root x we will take common minus square root y. Then what would be left inside the bracket? So this is common, this is common. So this is like times 1. So you will write root x plus root y plus 1 equal to 0. f dot g equal to 0. So we will conclude two equations. Either root x minus root y equal to 0 or second equation root x plus root y plus 1 equal to 0. Now I will solve the second equation first. So if I will write here root x plus root y only, then it, this value would be negative 1. See, our domain was for real solutions, domain was x greater than 8. If x is greater than 8, then y was our substitution 8 plus root x. So that y is always positive. Conclusion is, if this is positive, this is positive it cannot be negative for real solutions. So positive plus positive must be positive. So we will reject this equation for 
real solutions rejected as it is not true for real solutions now only one equation is left that is square root x minus square root y equal to 0 let us solve that equation square root x minus square root y equal to 0. Conclusion is square root x is equal to square root y. Taking square both sides, x equal to y. Now let me write our 1 and 2 equation. Equation number 1 was x minus root y equal to 8 and equation number 2 was y minus root x equal to 8. Let us put the value of x is equal to y here. So I will get after that x minus, let me write x minus root x equal to 8. So I will write our equation x minus 8 is equal to square root x. Let us consider squaring both sides. As we can see it is square root RHS. So let me take whole square both sides. I will consider a minus b whole square formula which is a square plus b square minus twice ab. So let us apply a square plus b square is 8 square 64 minus 2ab. So 2 times 8 is 16x and root x is square that is x. Take all the term to one side x square minus 17x plus 64 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation from where we will get two solutions and we will reject when solution is less than 8 because our domain was x greater than 8. So let us solve this quadratic equation. x square minus 17x plus 64 equal to 0. Let me apply Shidrachar formula. Minus b so minus of minus 17 plus 17 plus minus under the root b square 17 square is 289 minus 4 a c a is 1 c is 64 4 times 64 256 divided by 2 a so i will rewrite 2 now 17 plus minus square root 33 289 minus 256 33 divided by 2. Let's write this with plus and minus sign. So I will write 17 plus root 33 over 2 and 17 minus root 33 over 2. Now if you will check the value of square root 33 then approximate value is 5.7. So if you will substitute over here 5.7 that is square root 33 then 17 plus 5.7 over 2 22.7 approximate value over 2 so this value is coming out 11.3 and if you will check the second value this is coming out approximately 5.6 so because of this value is less than 8 5.6 is less than 8 so we will reject this solution it will generate complex solution complex solutions. So we will accept only x is equal to 17 plus square root 33 over 2 as this value is 11.3 which is greater than 8 more than 8. So let me write here our solution final solution is 17 plus square root 33 over 2. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like share and subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.